Hello students, welcome to Agri Related Current Affairs by Clarity for Sure. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is OECD FAO Agricultural Outlook Report of 2025. It is an annual report jointly published by Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development and Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. This is part 2 of the edition highlights. If you haven't watched part 1, you can go back and watch it. Global diets are changing rapidly. By 2034, demand for meat, dairy and eggs is set to rise by 17%, driven mainly by income growth in middle-income countries. As people earn more, they eat more protein. This will push global livestock inventories up by 7%. Globally, per capita calorie intake from animal and fish products will rise by 6% and by a staggering 24% in lower middle income nations. But sadly, nutritional deficits will still persist in low income countries. As animal farming and cropland expand, agricultural greenhouse gas emissions are expected to increase by 6%. However, better farming methods will help reduce the carbon intensity, meaning fewer emissions per unit of production, signaling progress towards sustainable agriculture. On the regional front, India and Southeast Asia will be the new engines of cereal consumption due to population growth and dietary changes. Meanwhile, China's share will decline, reflecting its shift towards diets less dependent on cereals. These regional shifts will significantly shape global trade and food markets. Let's look at some practice question. What is the expected rise in global demand for meat, dairy and eggs by 2034? By how much will agricultural greenhouse gas emissions increase due to expansion in animal farming and cropland? Write your answers in the comment section. For more such information, subscribe to the channel.